Hey everyone, Jason Weckerly here, along with my buddy Troy. And we're out here fishing the river. It's almost winter time now. It's crunch time. There's a lot of ice forming on this river. The river's super low, super slow. Probably the lowest I've ever seen it, to be honest with you. Like you can see right down underneath the bridge over here. There's barely any water. So we're not sure if fish are still here or not. We just got here, it's still early yet, but we're hoping to catch a few. We have a lot of time on our hands. If the river doesn't treat us well, when we bounce around to a few spots, we might end up at a lake or something, but it just really sucks that uh, open water season is coming to an end pretty quickly now. And we got to get our ice fishing gear ready and get our auger blade sharpened and all that good stuff. But let's get some walleyes. I think it's still early, it's still light out, but I think we can scratch out some fish tonight. You? Yeah, let's do this. All right, we're just throwing paddle tails, curly tails. Let's see if we can get a... Oh my God, it's snowing. Yeah, it is snowing. Hopefully we can get a, a pre-nighttime walleye. Something to get our hopes up. Uh, we got the spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm fishing that on a 1 16th ounce jig head. Usually I go with an 8th ounce when the river's up a little bit. If it's up really high, a 4th ounce. But when the water's low, to moderate, you can get away with a 16th ounce in a lot of spots around this river. You just have to find the slack water areas, the eddies. You could get away with a 16th ounce even during flood stage in some spots on this river. But it is far from flood stage right now. It's crazy low. I'm surprised there's even fish, there's even been fish in this area this fall. The water's so low and clear, I don't expect to catch much until it's dark. Yeah. So far, just as I predicted, we're still not getting any bites, but it's not dark out yet. When you got low, clear water, you always do better at night out here. But uh. I'm just checking out these, this flock of uh, pigeons we have flying around our heads here. Big flock of them. I kept hearing them swoosh past and I didn't know what I was hearing. Suddenly, here they are, big flock of pigeons. Pretty cool. It's a nice night out, but we're hoping the fish bite. Did you lose a big one? You lost a walleye? Oh, your jig? Oh, I thought you were crying because you lost a fish. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I didn't hear you screaming for the net. No. It's almost dark out. Somebody got pulled over on the bridge. Not quite prime time yet, but hopefully soon. If this spot don't work, we're gonna go try others. So the night's not over. Troy, first fish of the night. I had one bite before, but it's like an hour and a half past dark and we're finally getting bites. But it's a nice fish. Good job, man. Thanks. Show its mouth, show its teeth. That's, that's, that's brutal. That is vicious. 
<laughs> All right, we'll throw him back. Well, we got harassed by a lot of drunk people. Again. Again. And now we're at McDonald's getting some cheeseburgers and fries, but we're gonna try some more spots. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hope some fish start biting. I don't know if you guys can see me right now. Take my friend. All right. So let's uh, eat the food. <laughs> we're gonna sit here and try the Jefferson Dam now. Don't know if we're gonna catch anything. The water is so low right now. I don't even see water spilling over the rocks over here. It's stupid low. Like this is, we need some rain. We need some snow, put it that way. But we dealt with a lot of drunk people tonight and not enough walleyes. We only caught two walleyes. One of them was like 12 inches long. I didn't get it on video. My buddy caught one that was about 17 inches, but we threw it back. It's a really slow night. Let's see what we get here. Me and my buddy Troy found a bunch of these dead sheep's head along the river. And if you think you're helping the river by killing these things, you're very miseducated. Because these are one of the native fish to the river that actually feed the walleyes and saugers and pike. And leaving them dead on the shore, smelling up the place isn't helping a thing. Let's keep the sport of fishing alive. That's a lot of fish to be wasted. And a lot of walleye food to be wasted. I've pulled sheep's head almost as big as these guys out of the bellies of 18 to 20 inch walleyes many times. Look at that. Now there's a dead walleye. Now I'm pissed. Ah! All right, we're at the Jefferson Dam and if you guys know where the stairs are, I'm walking down them right now, and I'm walking into the river. Found myself a little jerk shad plastic already. There you go. A little shiner minnow. Yeah, someone must have just been here with shiners. But this is as low as it gets. There's the staircase. If it gets lower than this, we're in trouble. We are getting our asses handed, handed to us tonight by the fish. We're not catching much of anything. My buddy got two legal walleyes tonight. One of them I didn't get on camera. It happened so quickly, we didn't even have time to film. It just happened. Pulled it right in, done. I caught one 12, 13 inch walleye, might have been a saw guy, sauger hybrid type fish. The ducks are laughing at us. We had drunks all over us tonight, drunk people just sitting there talking to us and talking to us and stopping and talking to us. You don't want to catch fish in front of people, they draw attention. Everyone in the town will know about it the next day. We're trying not to bring too much attention to ourselves, but at the same time, we had a few bites. We caught a couple fish. Tonight sucks. Moonrise is at midnight, literally 11.59 p.m. That's happening in about a half hour. So we're hoping that saves our asses, but if not, this video sucks. Sorry guys. All right, caught my first legal of the night. Five minutes to moonrise. And we had a few other bites. Sorry about my jacket. It's cold as hell out here right now. 
That's about 18 and a half inches easily. All right, let's get some more fish. Alright, tail pinched a little, 19 and a half inches, nice, yep, 19 and a half. I thought it was only 18, <laughs> there you go. We have another one here right now, right at moonrise. It's midnight. Swallowed it. But I'm not sure if this one's legal or not. We'll see. Just gotta get the hook out of his mouth. I was biting down. Caught, we caught one, but it took four hours. <laughs> yeah. I just gotta check if he's legal or not. Yep. The moon rises. Here's my pointer finger right here. Right on the river, right in the middle. The moon is rising. And the fish are finally biting a little bit better. All right, man. How many fish did we get tonight? Like five, maybe? Four? Six if you count the moments we're back. <sighs> Let's try one more spot, I guess. God, this sucks. It's cold. It's cold as frig. All right, well, we decided we're gonna go throw a jerk bait and some jigs, maybe a rip and wrap or something at a lake because the fishing is slow. We got five keepers tonight. Troy caught most of them. And, well, it's just a slow night of fishing, so let's try something different right now. Yeah. Oh, you got a pike. A muskie. It's a muskie. It's a little musky. That's why you bought so hard. Oh my god. It's a little musky. Alright, let's get him back in the water quick. Very cool. A musky. Make him crawl in. Make him crawl in. Yeah. Oh, there you go. He jumps. That was cool, dude. You got a musky.